Ross, the boss, doesn't get any bigger than this uh, this weekend, Ross. Tomorrow night, Thursday night football, Brisbane and Geelong at the Gabba, and they are two informed teams. Let's take a look at their records over the last ten weeks, and that includes a bye, and Ross, they've won eight of their last nine, both yeah, of them. Yeah, eight one. Mm. Very convincing winners, both in great form, and when they're in form, they both tend to hold it for a long period of time. So a, a clash of the heavyweights. And the, and you look at this record, and obviously both teams going extremely well. I think Geelong's form is probably slightly better with who they've beaten. But let's take a look at the Cats at the Gabba. They have a great record. Last year, it was sort of their home away from home, Ross, in a sense. And they, Ross, actually, Chris Scott said during the week, we love playing at the Gabba. And you can see why. They've smashed so many teams there last year, including the Brisbane Lions. Well, it's five, 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 five win, yeah. one loss. Really a, t a tight loss in a grand final and plus 53 points. So it's funny, when you have good wins, you want to get to the ground. You want to feel good. So they're obviously comfortable in the warm weather. So Brisbane lose, because we know they're great at home, they do lose some of that advantage. Let's take a look at that prelim final, Ross. Firstly, with the stats, where they beat up the Brisbane Lions. Yeah, really. Contest the ball, where it all starts, around the contest, plus 16. And then you'll see some footage where they actually broke a lot of the Brisbane tackles who are a young team. Let's see if they've really matured over summer. And then once they won it, they controlled it. They couldn't get it back off them. They couldn't find them. Lots of uncontested marks. And real efficient inside 50 to Hawkins and Rowan and Ablett. But guess what? No Ablett. Yeah. Geelong go and get Cameron. So, yeah. you know, three-pronged <laughs> attack still. So lots of challenges for Brisbane. They'll say they had a bad night. Mm. I just think Geelong were a very good fit. And I thought they beat them up. I didn't think Brisbane were with it right from the start, Ross. Yeah, two broken tackles. Ablett near the end, pushes off and then hits a leading Hawkins. Um, and you'll just see a few more clips here. This is young Simpson. Tackles inside, broken tackle, broken tackle. Quick, can't contain him, lines in the tackle. Geelong smart. And then out and then hit an easy lead up. So they've got to be stronger around the ball. And they, if they don't stick their tackles, they're in trouble. But then when they found time and space, they pulled them apart. They set the ground up. They made it big. They found the holes. And that's undefendable. This Gary Rowan with the ball, you can't stop that with Hawkins on the lead. So Brisbane, how far have they come? It's really, it'll be a measuring test. I'll be looking forward to get there. But I just think Geelong are a very, very good football team and we'll get it done. Yeah, I agree. I trust Geelong more so at the moment. You love when a young star comes along. And I think it's Zach Bailey of the Brisbane Lions. He's kicked 18 goals this season. He's become a big game player for many different reasons. He kicked four against, obviously kicked that after the siren. He kicked four against Melbourne, four against Richmond. And he can get you in many ways. He can get you with brilliance and he can get you with gut run, Ross, which you'll see this next clip, how hard he works as well. And that's what you need. You need someone to bob up. He's got real speed. He's got run. You can just see he's set outside that contest, out of the air. He can really crumb it. And he seems brave to me. So he's added something. We know the Lions have added Danahar as well. So hopefully they've grown over the summer, the Lions. The Geelong Best and Ferris is called the Kaji Greaves medal. And Mark Blixavs has won it twice in 2015 Four. and 2018. I want to show Ross how valuable he is. He started the game as a ruck rover. Then he turns into a ruckman. Then he ends up behind the ball. Then he ends up forward of the ball. Chris Scott must love for what he does for John. Well, he could arguably be their most important player. Oh, I agree with you. Yeah. He's a real tactical weapon and strategic because he runs so hard. He's a, a stra yeah, I think he's an 800 metre champion. So, like English, great ruckman, but can you run, son? So, he, flexibility, disrupt the opposition defences, as important to anyone that Geelong have. And you like Geelong, obviously, in this one? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Geelong fan. Yeah. I think they're informed, they're mature, and they're ready to go.